Now all the modules are soldered, I've got to put this together as a working remote control, but I have some custom cables now, custom connectors. There is the I squared C bus with all the modules connected to it. And underneath the transceiver, we have the main microcontroller. So the main microcontroller is also talking to the wireless transceiver and also to the I squared C bus. And just to show that everything's working, because we have to have a demonstration, nobody believes me unless I show you, is that we have the I squared C scanner running on the microcontroller and it can see three devices. Now I have the three devices on address 44, 55 and 66 hexadecimal and that corresponds with the joystick module, the button module and the LED module. What I'm going to do now very quickly is upload a basic remote control module, uh, excuse me, sketch to the microcontroller and you should be able to see in a second that uh, it starts up. The one thing you will see quite quickly is that the radio section of the, uh, the code will initialize itself. There we go. And then from then on we have data coming from each of the modules. Now the one thing I did do was reduce the time in the main microcontroller loop so that it should pull stuff a lot quicker. So let's just prove that it is working. I am moving the joystick up and down in the Y axis, left and right in the X axis, and you can see those values change. And then I'll start pressing buttons. And you can see on the left hand side that that value is changing, indicating more that uh, the buttons are pressed. I will press the joystick module button and that means data is getting through successfully, which means that all my cables are set up. And again, let me just press some buttons here to prove that we're lighting up. And again, where's it gone? There we go. We have the blinky LED on the joystick module. Now I am going to change the code on the joystick module slightly so that it doesn't blink, it just lights the light. Uh, and we'll determine whether we want to toggle it or not. That's a, a different step. but. Basically, we have a working remote control in terms of receiving all the data. And the fact that the radio initialized means that the wireless transceiver is working. Next step now is just to add some code to the microcontroller unit to start sending the same commands that we had for the Roomba before on the old remote control. And then uh, I will do a demonstration of the Roomba moving. 